fly we'll be tying today is what I call a brassy on a D string. This is a very successful pattern, very slim line, sinks easily. First you take your hook, which is I'm using a size 10 Daiichi. Make sure you flatten the barbs. Makes it so much easier to remove from the fish's mouth and maybe from your fingers. Put your hook in the vise, like so. You take your copper wire, this is normal red shellac wire. Now the silver wire winding in between, that's where the D string name comes from. Stripped it off an old guitar string. Don't throw away your strings if you're a guitarist. You can always reuse the wire. Very fine silver wire. It works perfectly. Now let's start off. Take your copper wire. Start winding at the back. Very tight turns. Pull them down each time. You keep the windings very close, tightly together. You can still shove it up a little bit, which I'll show you now. You get towards the eye of the hook. You just push the windings up together again. You twist the back piece off, or you can use a side cutter. But I find it much easier twisting it off. It's a nice clean finish. Push it back to about the bend of the hook. And you twist the front end off. You notice about a third of the hook between the copper wire windings and the eye, which is going to be open for the thorax and the head. Now comes the D-string part. Take your fine silver wire, you start at the back, and you wind those windings tightly in between your copper wire windings. And you will see as we progress how the color changes from the back gives you more like a uh, shimmering effect to it as to the normal red dull shine of the uh, copper wire. What you can do instead of pulling it in between the windings you can also wind it over the top so it gives you a ridgy effect. But I find pulling it in between gives you a much slimmer body to the fly and you'll notice as you pull it in between that the front end moves towards the eye of the hook. That's why I left the gap. Now you can twist off the front part. Same for the back, twist it off. Now you've got the copper wire and the, and the uh, silver wire part done. Push it back slightly towards the bend of the hook again. Make sure you've got some space for the head. I'm using black. 7 zero thread, start tying at the head, slightly over the copper wire windings, clip off the excess, and just tighten down on the windings. I'll take some trilateral black tub, this gives you a nice buggy head to it. Start teasing out for the legs. Dab a thin noodle. Not too thin though. You want the buggy look to the head. Push it up to the head. And just wind it over. Don't crowd the eye. Notice I'll leave a piece open for the eye. Take the excess off. Pull the fibers back and then if you want two, three, four, five turns, you can whip finish the head, like so, off we go, trim the excess, and then of course some head cement, use a loon knot sense, it's a board water based cement, works very well, just a little drop on the head, to put in, there we go. And that's almost done. Just clear some of the varnish out of the eye. And there we go. Now you can trim some of the fibers off. 
take a little dabbing even pick some some more out and the longer ones on top you can trim off with your tying scissors just make it a little bit neater and there we go brassy on a D string very successful uh, rock worm, blood worm, whatever imitation you want to call that.